Hello YouTube, this is XXXMan360 here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make your own master boot record. Now, it's not a fully functional master boot record, it's more of just a simple program that displays a few lines of text on the screen. Anyways, what you'll need for this is NASM and Bootus which I'll provide for you in the description if you need so. And also the sample.asm which we will be using as our source code. So we open it up and we got message, message B, message C, and this any key. And these are messages we can edit and to use in our master boot record. So I'm gonna put something like hello world And then I'm gonna put, uh, oh no, subscribe to PewDiePie. And then I'll put unsub, subscribe from T Series. And just as a joke, I'll put your come. Computer will remain like this until you do so. Now, obviously, there's no way it could detect if it's subscribed to PewDiePie or T-Series. This is only, uh, you know, we're still in the bio, uh, just left the BIOS at this point. We're not running internet at all. Anyways, next thing we're going to do is open okay. Then we're going to open up NASM and we're going to get this prompt what we're going to type in is NASM drag the file here type dash F bin dash O drag the file in here again and change ASM to bin now it is generated sample.bin which is as you'd expect 512 bytes just like every sector of the hard drive is so now to apply it we'll use Bootus now I just want to say one thing about Bootus that Bootus is a pretty powerful uh, hard drive sector editor preferably used for editing boot sectors but in all seriousness though if you don't know what you're doing with this program you can actually cause a bit of damage so I'm using this virtual machine as this is not a bootable master boot record. It's just here for testing. Now, in order to apply it, we'll just hit process MBR. We're going to restore MBR. And then make sure keep signature and partition table untouched is checked. And I'll explain why later. So now we're going to browse for sample.bin. And we're going to restore. So now it has successfully restored the file. And now, when we go to restart, which unfortunately I got a freaking update to do. Oh well. I'll see you later when it restarts. Okay, so now we get the message. Hello world, subscribe to PewDiePie, unsubscribe from T-Series. Your computer will remain like this until you do so. Now you may be wondering, how do we get rid of this? And I've come here to tell you exactly how. And also if we press, it's going to restart the computer. So what you're going to want to do is insert uh, some Windows Repair Media and then restart your computer so then we're gonna boot to the DVD or it's a virtual ISO in this case okay so now we're in the Windows setup environment we're gonna next and repair our computer now on Windows 7 it's different you would just uh, choose your OS, and if there's none there, you hit next. But on Windows, this is for Windows 8 and up. So we're gonna troubleshoot. 
advanced options, command prompt. And we're going to type boot rec slash fix MBR and the operation will complete successfully restoring the MBR. But if you're still having trouble and you need and it sends you back to the recovery environment, that probably means you forgot to check the keep partition table and disk signature untouched. And uh, your data is still there, but it's just corrupted at the moment. So what you would have to do is you would have to go and launch startup repair. And uh, since there's nothing wrong, it's just going to run through, but nothing's going to be fixed. But for you, it would uh, run the process of fixing the partition table, and then the computer would be ready. As you can see, it didn't really do anything because there's nothing wrong. So now, we're going to go back to our operating system. Okay, so Windows uh, should now be starting. And just like that, it's back to normal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then please hit that thumbs up. And subscribe for more if you want to be notified for my latest uploads. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.